Folks, we have ourselves here a beautiful 1998 Saturn SL2. This car only has 103,000 miles on it. Everything is still present everywhere. The engine is very happy. That is not a blowed head gasket. Well, that was wishful thinking. It sure enough had a blowed head gasket. Bad. And quite a few other things, too. Turned into the great rebuild of the Saturn SL2 power module. Got it done? Have a look. Another day, another car, maybe another dollar at some point. The head gasket teardown on the Saturn SL2 has begun. I think I have reached my stopping place for the afternoon with it. So far, I had one stud only pull out of this. This one right here. The rest of it, all them bolts acted just like they should have. There's some serious access problems over here, but I seem to be past those now. Got my cam gears all zip tied up so that that can't fall off anywhere. There is some slack in that chain in that position. There was not when I first pulled the cover off, so we'll just see how the guides are. It's in the right spot, though. Down here, I'm at top dead center, or pretty close. Unfortunately, we're at a stopping point for the day. That's going to require an impact on that. To get that loose, I tried a couple of hillbilly methods. I mean, I could stand out here and fight it, but what for? Just come back with my compressor as we've reached the, the done part for the day. So, that big cog comes off, and then the timing cover bolts come off. Once the timing cover bolts come off, then I can depressurize the fuel system, remove the upper radiator hose from the unit. There might be some little crap to unplug over here and some bolts, but basically, for the most part, this is stripped down enough that I should have this head off relatively quickly after all this. So, the pile of debris, not too many bolts and such. I put most of them back where they live. So that this won't be a problem as I will be coming back on another day, but I'm going to call that enough. My back says I'm done. It's starting to rain out here a bit. It's enough for one day. Have fun out there, everybody. How's that old song go? Fire is the devil's only friend. <sighs> Fire. Prometheus. Archimedes and his lever. Archimedes in his threaded material. It's out. It's no longer in there. Now, of course, my pulley is kind of stuck. I'm going to have to go to war with that. I may even have to go borrow a three-jaw puller of some kind. I hope not. I'm going to try tapping on things get her to break loose. But that was an ordeal that took every bit of my body strength to make that happen. It appears nothing is damaged, so we're good to go. <sighs> the rest of the way... Out is through. Removing that pulley will let me get that timing cover off. And then we can remove this head and get it to the machine shop like we meant to about a week ago. But you know what? 30 year old cars, folks. There's only one way to deal with the stuck bolt, and that's to find some way to turn it. And there's not always a great way. Sometimes it takes time. Just, uh, you face one, hang in there. Get creative, keep trying different things, and don't be afraid to try the same thing another time. Eventually, it'll all come together for you. All right, I'm going to take me a little relax, and then we're going to pop this part the rest of the way. Y'all have fun. All right, they got quite a few to choose from, but this bad boy is $21 for the three-piece set. Goes up to six inch. I think I have a small inside diameter I can grab with like the three. I think the six should be big enough on the outside as well, I hope. That's what we're going to have to go with. That's what I can afford. We'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Hey everybody, it's a very sore and wore out wild man Willie here today. Yesterday, we finished up and got the cylinder head the rest of the way off of the 1999 Saturn SL2. The head gasket underneath was decrepit. It was blown out, well, all along the face. Looked like it had just rotted out. Took this to the machine shop, or called him to talk to him. Their tune changed when they heard Saturn. And this went up from like 200 and something dollars to like $600 for them to redo this head. So, I don't see any cracks. Doesn't mean there aren't any. 
But visually, there's not. Visually, there's not. Top side. Only has like a hundred thousand miles on it. Had to remove the cams and the roller rockers to get this loose. So, so what are we gonna do? Six hundred dollars is kind of not in the perspective. I'm gonna check it for flat. We're gonna start there. And I'm gonna clean it up. If it's flat and it doesn't require any machining, then it's going back on the car. Um, it's gonna clean it up and make it look nice. I had intended to have the full machine work done, but again, there there is a budget to be worked with here, and six hundred dollars does not make them holla. Not on this. Good news is though, I think we're gonna be okay. Again, the old head gasket had that I'm just totally decrepit and rotted out look basically to it. The head itself, cams didn't look brightly polished. I think we're gonna be okay. These valves. I'm probably just gonna leave them in the car. I mean, I'll clean them up, of course, but just hoping they'll have decent seats at 100,000 miles. This isn't 300,000 miles. All right, everybody. Well, that's the head. Let's hand turn this over through a few rotations. Make sure that there ain't nothing stuck anywhere or pissed off. Let's see what we got. Oh, that turned easy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ain't nothing too bad pissed off. Let's go for TDC on number one. That's it right there. Any more goes fast? Let's do it again. TDC achieved. Looks like it to me. That looks like Woodruff Key. Dead top center. Things are a little sideways. That's that looks like dead top center to me. All right, we'll recheck, but ain't nothing stuck in the bottom. Ain't nothing making it not move. Happy about that. All right, shaking a little bit from the exertion. That's the cylinder head on. I did one pass, five pounds each upgrade on all the bolts in sequence till we reached 45 to seat the head to the gasket. Dry, pulled them all out, oil wetted them, reinstalled in sequence, five pounds a piece. Till we got to 25, then again till I got to 35, and then I turned them all 90. They all started at about the same point and ended at about the same point. So, cylinder head is installed to the block. Now to build the cylinder head inside the engine. Ooh, it never ends, but I feel like that went well. I feel like that sealed up. We'll find out at some point. Progress, progress, every time I come. That's the top side of this engine together. Well, within reason. I've got to come up with a heater hose tee to put the heater hose back on the bypass. Oh, what a thing to cry about, right? But, you know, we're going to change, do the oil pan on this. It's an RTV gasket, but I want to get all the trash I've dropped out of the bottom of the oil pan. Just look at what the hell it takes to get an oil pan out of this car. We got a bracket, we got a lower flywheel cover, braces, and then I got about that many of the bolts out of it already. And, oh, up underneath here, there's, there's a few bolts left to deal with, but not that many. Some on the front, some on the back. So get them out the rest of the way. When I tell you they overbuilt this car, I mean it, folks. They definitely didn't want that to fall apart. I mean, you know, let's bolt the exhaust to a bracket with six, one, two, six, 13 millimeter headed bolts. And then let's put that over the oil pan. And then let's put a cover over that. So, you know, you'll miss those two bolts if you ain't expecting it. 
ain't crying about it. If you get one of these, it certainly won't fall apart out from under. Yeah, it may wear out, but not fall apart. Anyhow, let's get the rest of them bolts out of there and get done for the night. Let's have just a tiny little chat about over-engineering. Oh, let's drop the oil pan on this car to, you know, get all the trash out, which there's all kinds of trash in that that needs to come out. RTV snakes and little broken plastic stuff definitely needed to come down if I expect healthy engine, right? And I'm a mechanic. We got it done. But let's talk about what that takes. So you have the exhaust bolts to the cradle over the oil pan with two of those bolts. You got two bolts that run into the transmission to hold the cradle. One, two, three, four bolts to hold the brace to the bottom of the block. Then you got one, two, three small bolts on the dust shield for the... What do I even want to call that? The flywheel. Yes. So there's that, which hides two bolts. Good thing I'm smart and already know that sort of thing. Front brace, you have to remove the torque strut mount, four more big bolts, and then 20, count them, 20 oil pans bolts, folks, but that's out of there. We'll get it flattened up on the corner where I bent it, getting it off, and getting the timing cover off. We'll get that sealed up. I'm going to use the 10-minute goo on it tomorrow so we can put this car back in service rather than my long-term stuff. It'd be fine. We got the top side of the engine built. Got the bottom side of the engine naked. Not as much fun stuff to see up in there as you might hope. There's the pickup there. And it's got a baffle shield. I'm not going to drop that baffle shield. And this little guy hanging down right here. That's the old dipstick. So, yep, we're going to clean that off. Oh, there's already a chunk of metallic. Oh, lovely. <laughs> up on the oil pickup. Just one, though. And again, most of the trash that's in that oil pan, it's not all full of glitter. It's full of RTV from hell. All right, so. There's the car. Looking good. Should be a runner tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday to bolt it together. Sun is going down in Funky Town. It's time to call it a day. Have fun, everybody. The oil pan is back on the Saturn, or at least it's hung up there to finger tight while I wait for the RTV to cure a bit. I'm going to give that about as long as it takes me to clean up a whole bunch of other crap to cure before I tighten it down the rest of the way. Got it cleaned up. Pretty good. Don't look bad up under there. Still got to put that shield back, but all that happens after this has been fully tightened down. Unfortunately, as with most things on this car, complexity says that uh, I think it needs yet another round probably after I get done with all this because, well, I just foresee myself running out of daylight right about the time this is cured enough to pour oil in and we ain't going to test it and see what the hell happens in the middle of the night. Anyway, though, 20 bolts in on that oil pan, RTV'd with the... Uh, Permatex the right stuff, 90 minute this time. 10 minute gasket maker would have been too fast to set up for me to even work with it on this one to get it together. Well, there's all that. Let's give that a minute. Time for me to take my cleaner and clean up all this disgusting bracketry so that you know I can tell that that's aluminum and not steel. Alright, let's keep working. Behold, the Saturn Power Module. It's not even an engine, folks. I believe I've made it though. Everything appears to be together. Oil pans resealed back on it. Strut brace mount is back on it. Big main pulleys back on it. Bolts in, not torque spec. New oil filter on. probably can't see too much but the oil pan has been resealed the bracing is all back on there I couldn't get the bolts to line up on that last exhaust mount I'm gonna see if that doesn't act a little different after the car is shook for a second and been cranked up but folks 
The parts pile now only contains plastic bits, terrible air filter, two bolts, a hose, and a hose clamp. And I know exactly where I'm going to put those. So, looks like we got mission accomplished like George W. Bush said out here. Damn, folks. This one's not for the faint of heart at all. Southern Power Module takes no prisoners. If you are unsure of your abilities to work on a car at all, this is not the one. Complicated, complicated. That being said, them gaskets are going to cure overnight. This will be rated for full fluids, and we'll have our moment of truth on the morrow. Have fun out there. Judgment Day has arrived for the Saturn SL2 Power Module. We're adding oil. I need to install spark plugs. Put a few plastic things back together. You know, normal stuff. Today's the day. We're about to find out all about it in the next hour or so. To the best of my knowledge, everything has been done correctly. To the best of my knowledge, that head was flat enough and I did not see any cracks. We did not have it remachined, which is my only question mark. That being said, that's too expensive to do it on the car. Nobody can afford that. And it went on flat. It felt correct during the torque down procedure. So, hopeful, confident, trepidatious. Let's pour juices in it, do a final check, and find out. It's the moment we've all been waiting for, everybody. You ready to find out? Winter chicken dinner right there is what that means, folks. Engine. Damn, y'all think I was an all right mechanic. That ain't running bad. I turned as good as I could expect that to. Let's get that coolant burnt. Let's see if this thing measured off, topped off, secured. And let's tell the customer they got a car. That ain't smoking or blowing no steam no more. We've beat it. We have beat it. Heck yeah, folks. Saturn SL2, freshly rebuilt up for sale, ready to rock, Jenkins performance, top quality. There you have it. Did y'all have your eyes closed just then for that last part? I ain't gonna lie, I sure did. That is an extremely complex four-cylinder engine. You've got hydraulic lifters, roller rockers, the whole shebang. And I think that Saturn had some kind of contract with the guys over at Fastenal or the bolt supplier because uh, they sure put it together well. In all honesty, a well-built car, a lot of the things I had to service were not intended to ever be serviced. And as a testament, really weren't leaking in things their entire life. I had to come down to get it apart. What we got out of it was a very good running car. Days later, I've got confirmation from the client that we haven't lost a drop of anything. At first, they were a bit worried. They checked their oil, and they thought they were out. Uh, it turns out that the oil is just staying nice and clean exactly where it's supposed to. It is no longer super nasty and evident where the oil line was. So, that was a win. Got it together. Enjoy, folks. Hope you had a good time. Hope you learned something. In the end, it is possible to do this job. But it doesn't need to be your first Adjassi job. No, 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 no. Uh, if you've done a couple on Mazdas and things like that in the past, something else with dual overhead cams, you got a great shot at this one. If it's your first time going in, find a buddy with the experience, something. This one is not for the faint of heart. All right, have fun out there.